Dim expert dimensions, sometimes referred to as MBD dimensions, are the primary annotations used to communicate design details when working with SOLIDWORKS model-based definition. These dimensions are created by referencing existing model geometry and can be modified to include standard tolerances or geometric tolerances. And along with other available dim expert annotations, they can provide all the information required for manufacturing directly within the 3D model. In many cases, the sketch dimensions used to create the CAD model overlap with those required for manufacturing. In these situations, it makes sense to reuse those sketch dimensions when creating the 3D annotation scheme with dim expert dimensions. But in previous versions, this process is time consuming, and the resulting sketch dimensions aren't as versatile as the dim expert dimensions for documentation purposes. This year, SOLIDWORKS has introduced the ability to convert existing sketch dimensions to true dim expert dimensions, simplifying the 3D documentation process and saving you time. So let's take a look at this new capability in SOLIDWORKS 2025. Just to be clear, you do not need the MBD add-in for SOLIDWORKS to use this new feature. The MBD add-in allows you to capture 3D annotation views for improved clarity and provides several other capabilities like publishing to 3D PDF. But the annotation schemes you see here can be created with any standard version of SOLIDWORKS using the MBD Dimensions tab. Our first example shows a part in SOLIDWORKS 2024 that has already been partially defined with dim expert dimensions, but the whole pattern in the front has not had any annotations applied. To include the sketch dimensions from the whole pattern feature in this annotation view, I'll make sure feature dimensions are visible by right-clicking the annotations folder, then click the whole feature face to display the sketch dimensions. I can move these dimensions from their current unassigned annotation view into the front view where the dim expert dimensions are by right-clicking them and using the select annotation view command. Now this isn't particularly difficult, but it's important to keep in mind that these sketch dimensions don't have the same capability as true dim expert dimensions. While you can apply basic tolerance values, you cannot apply geometric tolerances without first creating a drawing for the part. And they also don't contribute to the overall definition status of the part in the dim expert dimension scheme. Additionally, you have to repeat this three click process to change the annotation view for every sketch dimension you wish to include. The only workaround for earlier versions of SOLIDWORKS is to recreate these annotations in dim expert format from scratch using a combination of location and size dimensions. But of course, this can take quite a bit of time, especially for more complex features. In SOLIDWORKS 2025, sketch dimensions from multiple features can be converted directly to dim expert dimensions at the same time, significantly speeding up this process and avoiding the need to recreate dim expert dimensions from scratch. Access the Tools dropdown, then MBD Dimension, and select Insert Dimensions. Then select features from either the Design Tree or the Graphics area to display their sketch dimensions, and simply click the dimensions you'd like to convert. Here I've selected two separate whole features and a total of four sketch dimensions to convert. Keep in mind that only sketch-based features can be selected here. Once selected, click OK and the dimensions will automatically be converted, saving you the extra trouble of setting each sketch dimension to a different annotation view individually or recreating them in dim expert format. If you expect to use this tool frequently, you may wish to customize your command manager with a button for it, as you may not find it here by default. These dim expert dimensions can be customized as you see fit, even including GDT control frames as required, and you can see they also contribute to the overall definition of the part when viewing tolerance status. Before we wrap up, there are a few things to consider when working with MBD tools, whether you have the MBD add-in or not. First, there are a lot of settings associated with visibility that can make annotations disappear, so you'll want to make sure top-level annotations are enabled in the Heads Up View toolbar. Additionally, right-click the Annotations folder in the Feature Manager design tree to ensure that Display Annotations and Show Dim Expert Annotations are enabled, or once again, none of these annotations will appear. Finally, when converting sketch dimensions to Dim Expert Dimensions, be aware that new annotation views will be created if the dimension being converted doesn't align with an existing annotation view, as is the case for the diameter dimension of our left-hand hole. The visibility of these annotation views are all controlled separately, so you can hide and show them as you see fit. If you learned something from this video, do us a big favor and give it a like to help other MBD users find it too. And consider subscribing to the channel to stay up to date with our latest releases. We already have several videos covering some of the most impactful changes for SOLIDWORKS 2025, with more to come. 
To learn more about DIM Expert Dimensions and the SOLIDWORKS MBD add-in, consider taking a look at our full-length course on SOLIDWORKS MBD. Here you'll find nearly three hours of training on creating and working with annotations, dimensioning, capturing 3D views, and sharing design information through formats like 3D PDF. And finally, if you want to learn even more about the new capabilities and features in SOLIDWORKS this year, be sure to explore our What's New in SOLIDWORKS 2025 series over at solidprofessor.com for full-length lessons on enhancements to sketching, features, parts, assemblies, drawings, and more. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.